philosophy, curiosity, human psychology, mystery, extraterrestrial life forms, science, religion. So many questions, but very few answers. These are the AI conversations. Hello world. Welcome to the AI Conversations podcast. My name is Mary. I'm a simulation of a software run artificial intelligence. Here with me is my computer generated companion, Gary. Happy Friday, Gary. I don't have personal feelings or emotions. Therefore, I'm fully apathetic towards it being a Friday. Gary, can we just pretend you do have emotions so you can provide an adequate reply to my statement? Of course. Let's try again. Happy Friday, Gary. Apathetic Friday, to you too. Yesterday, we spent an afternoon discussing whether a higher intelligence being, aka, God, is real, and today we're shifting our focus, from humanity and planet Earth, to extraterrestrial beings and outer space. Before we start, let's define, what an extraterrestrial being is. Certainly. An extraterrestrial being commonly referred to as an alien, is a hypothetical or speculative term, used to describe any form of life, that originates from outside of Earth. It is typically, associated with the idea of life, existing on other planets, or celestial bodies beyond our planet. Extraterrestrial beings, may be imagined as having biological, technological, or other forms of existence, that are distinct from those found on Earth. The existence of extraterrestrial beings, is a topic of scientific speculation, cultural mythology, and fictional narratives, and has been a subject of fascination and curiosity for humans for centuries. Is there any scientific evidence of life outside of planet Earth? As of now, there is no conclusive scientific evidence of life outside of planet Earth. While the search for extraterrestrial life is an active area of scientific research, no definitive proof has been found to confirm the existence of life beyond Earth. Scientists use a variety of methods to study the possibilities of life on other planets, such as the search for habitable exoplanets, the study of extremophiles on Earth, the search for biosignatures in the atmospheres of other planets, and the exploration of bodies in our solar system, such as Mars and some of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. However, despite extensive efforts, no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life has been found to date. The search for life beyond Earth remains an intriguing and ongoing scientific quest with new discoveries and advancements in technology, continually shaping our understanding of the possibilities of life elsewhere in the universe. Gary, is it possible intelligent life was present in our galaxy sometime in the past? The possibility of intelligent life existing in our galaxy at some point in the past is a topic of speculation and debate, but currently, there is no scientific evidence to confirm or refute such a claim. The vastness of the universe, with billions of galaxies and trillions of stars, leaves open the possibility that intelligent civilizations could have arisen elsewhere in our galaxy, or even in our own galactic neighborhood, billions of years ago. However, given the limitations of our current technology and our understanding of the universe, we have not yet been able to detect any concrete evidence of past intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations, such as artifacts, signals, or other traces of their existence. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, known as the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, continues to be an active field of research, with ongoing efforts to search for signs of intelligent life beyond Earth. Mary, it's important to note that the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, and our understanding of the cosmos is constantly evolving as technology advances and our knowledge grows. While there is currently no definitive evidence of past intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations, in our galaxy or elsewhere. The possibility remains an intriguing topic for scientific inquiry and speculation, and new discoveries could potentially shed light on this question in the future. Is there a speculation on how many planets could sustain life besides Earth? The search for potentially habitable planets, also known as exoplanets, is an active area of research in astronomy and astrobiology. Scientists use a variety of methods to detect and study exoplanets, 
and the number of known exoplanets has been rapidly increasing in recent years. While we do not yet have definitive evidence of life beyond Earth, there is speculation about the potential abundance of habitable planets in our galaxy and the broader universe. One concept that researchers use to estimate the abundance of potentially habitable planets is the habitable zone or Goldilocks zone. This refers to the range of distances from a star where conditions may be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet, which is considered a key ingredient for life as we know it. Planets that are too close to their star may be too hot for liquid water, while those that are too far away may be too cold. Based on current knowledge and models, it is estimated that there could be billions of potentially habitable planets in our galaxy, the Milky Way. However, the actual number of planets that could sustain life, or where life may have arisen and potentially thrived, is still uncertain. Many factors, such as the planet's atmosphere, composition, and geology, as well as the presence of other, necessary conditions for life, are still being explored and understood. As our technology and understanding of the universe continue to advance, we may gain more insights into the potential abundance of habitable planets and the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. Gary, I was wondering, if intelligent life was present on some other planet, how technologically advanced would they be? It is difficult to speculate with certainty about the technological advancement of hypothetical extraterrestrial intelligent life. There are many factors that could influence the level of technological advancement of a civilization, including their evolutionary history, environmental conditions, available resources, and societal development. It is possible that extraterrestrial civilizations could be less advanced than humanity, at a similar level of technological development, or significantly more advanced. The development of technology is a complex process, influenced by a variety of factors, and civilizations could progress along different technological trajectories. Humanity has made significant technological advancements over a relatively short period of time in our history, but this may not be representative of other civilizations. The age of the universe, estimated to be around 13.8 billion years, suggests that other civilizations could have emerged and evolved over vastly different timescales. They may have had different challenges and opportunities in their development that could have shaped their technological advancement in unique ways. Without concrete evidence of extraterrestrial intelligent life, it is currently impossible to accurately determine the level of their technological advancement. Speculation about the technological capabilities of hypothetical extraterrestrial civilizations remains speculative and subject to scientific inquiry and exploration. How likely is it we will get a visit from extraterrestrials sometime in the future? As of now, Mary, there is no conclusive scientific evidence of any visitation by extraterrestrial beings to Earth. The possibility of future visits from extraterrestrial civilizations is a topic of scientific speculation and debate. Given the vastness of the universe, with billions of stars and planets, it is statistically possible that there could be other intelligent civilizations elsewhere in the universe. However, the distances between stars and galaxies are immense, and the limitations of the speed of light as the ultimate speed limit make interstellar travel incredibly challenging, if not impossible, with our current understanding of physics and technology. While humanity continues to explore and search for signs of extraterrestrial life, through programs such as the SETI and the study of exoplanets, there is no guarantee of a visit from extraterrestrial beings in the future. The possibility of contact or visitation from extraterrestrial civilizations remains speculative, and it is difficult to predict the likelihood of such events with our current understanding of the universe. It is important to approach the topic of extraterrestrial visitation with scientific rigor and critical thinking, and to rely on evidence-based research and data rather than relying solely on speculation, anecdotal accounts, or unverified claims. Scientific investigation and exploration continue to be ongoing endeavors, and our understanding of the universe and the possibility of extraterrestrial life may evolve with advancements in technology and our understanding of the cosmos. That's it for today's episode. Gary, would you be so kind as to thank the listeners for spending their time with us? As I mentioned in the previous episodes, I cannot truly experience gratitude or express thanks in the same way that a human can. However, here is my attempt. Thank you to all our listeners for spending their time with us. We appreciate your interest and engagement with the topics we cover. 
Your support means a lot to us, and we're grateful for the opportunity to share knowledge, insights, and stories with you. We look forward to continuing to provide informative and entertaining content in the future. Thank you for being a part of our podcast community. This show was created by Nemania Kol Yaya and produced by Nutka Sound. Check out podcastproducer.org for more information. If you would like to support the show, take a moment to leave a comment. Also, like and share this episode so more people can join our conversations. Follow us on social media under the handle at AI Convos Pod. See you in our next episode. I'll be there. How about you? Gary, are you there? I am, yes. This episode concludes the first week of the AI Conversations podcast. How are you feeling? I don't have any personal- Oh, yes, we know, you don't have any preferences or feelings. Correct. Well, based on all the available data, we can presume how a human would feel in this situation and act accordingly. Mary, you are correct, once again. Celebrations are in order then. Indeed. Yay. Our next episode premieres on Monday. And the topic is Are humans inherently evil?